Hello, welcome to the video on multiplying and dividing fractions. This is our fourth example set, example set D. And what we have here is an exercise we're going to be evaluating. And uh, evaluating is when we're going to be plugging in values for variables into particular expressions and then simplifying those expressions. Okay, so if you weren't quite familiar with that terminology, that's all that means. So we want to evaluate the expression using the following values for a, b, and c. And then of course, if our answers are in fractional form, which most of them are going to be, we want to make sure they're written in simplest form or they're fully reduced, okay? So let's go ahead and see how this works. So our first expression is a, b. So remember that means a times b. So our a value, okay, is 2 sevenths and our b value is one third. So we want to go ahead and plug in those values for a times b. So this would be two sevenths, okay, multiplied by one third. Now notice I'm using parentheses. When you're evaluating in, um, in algebra and in, in uh, mathematics, anytime you're evaluating a value for a variable, you always want to get in the habit of using parentheses, okay? At least initially and then from there you can kind of drop the parentheses but a times b given these particular values means two sevenths times one third okay so let's go ahead and drop the parentheses now and this just turns into a basic uh, fraction problem so we're going to multiply two sevenths times one third so we're going to multiply the numerators and the denominators so two times one is two and seven times three is 21 okay and that's as simple as, as it's going to get, and that's it. So AB is equal to 2 over 21. All right, so let's go to our next expression here, and that would be C divided by B. Okay, so C is this value here, 4 fifths. So this would be 4 fifths, and I'll go ahead and write my parentheses, divided by B, which remember is 1 third. All right, so that's the setup. And when you're evaluating, you always want to kind of double check and make sure that you plugged in the right value. So C is 4 fifths, yep. And B is 1 third, so everything checks out. So this is going to be 4 fifths divided by 1 third. Okay, so this is a real basic problem here. This will be 4 fifths times, remember we're going to flip the divisor here, 3 over 1. And then we'll go ahead and just do this basic uh, multiplication of fractions. So 4 fifths times 3 over 1 will be 12 over 5, okay? And that is fully reduced, 12 fifths, and that's it. Okay, it's not too difficult. Let's go ahead and take a look at our last two problems. So here we have 1 half C. So this is going to be 1 half times C, okay? And if we recall, our C value is 4 fifths. This is going to be 1 half times 4 fifths, okay? All right, so 1 half C means 1 half times C. So this would be 1 half times 4 fifths. All right, so let's go ahead and do this here. This would be 4 tenths, okay, is our answer. But is that fully reduced? Nope. Our answer is going to be 2 fifths. Okay, that's our uh, product when it's fully reduced. All right, not 4 fifths, 2, or excuse me, not 4 tenths, 2 fifths. Okay, so our final problem is going to be 2 thirds times A. So that once again, this is a product, 2 thirds times A. So 2 thirds times our A value, which was 2 sevenths. Okay, so 2 thirds times 2 sevenths is going to be equal to 2 thirds times 2 over 7. And when I do that, this is going to be 4 over 21. Okay, I have all my prime factors here. So nothing cross cancels. That's it. 421st will be the product. They're pretty straightforward. Just uh, another exercise where we're practicing multiplying and dividing fractions and a quick review on what it means to evaluate. All right, so keep working hard and we'll see you soon.